here guys. As you might recall, my tent was pretty bad as a tent, but the material weighs almost nothing and it's waterproof and windproof and uh, well the color will definitely prevent me from losing it. So I'm going to use it as a tarp to build two different kind of shelters. The first one is going to be very well, simple and the other one is going to be more stable. Okay, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> this is kind of what I did last time. But this time I won't let the plastic thing just fly like it did. No, I'm going to pull it back and force it to the ground with any materials I can find. We'll see. That went quite fast. Oh, this gives me protection from rain and snow and wind. And if anyone needs to find me, I'm quite orange. Well, I haven't done anything about the ground yet. Uh, if it's cold or wet, I definitely need some kind of protective layers between me and the ground. But basically you can use branches from fir or pine or whatever materials you might find that's dry. Well, it didn't take long to put up. It wasn't exhausting to do it either, so I saved a lot of calories. But if it's snowing, I don't think this is very good. So. Let's move on and try to make shelter number two out of this orange plastic bag thing. I'm going to build another shelter uh, or I'm going to improve this one. Uh, what I'm going to use is this and my rope and my multi-tool, the scissor actually, and whatever material I can find in the forest. So let's go. So that was the first one. Well, something like that. <laughs> well, I must admit this is not the prettiest shelter I've built. This shelter will definitely keep me warmer than the other one. But now let's try and see what it looks like inside. Well, let's try this, shall we? Okay then. I think this could work. I really do. Um, I'm still very orange, but this will definitely keep more heat inside the shelter than the other one. And it didn't take long, so I still saved calories. And that's good. Since I'm a biology teacher, I might share some biology facts with you. Um, you know your body is very fragi fragile and needs to be protected uh, against the elements, you know, wind, water, cold, whatever. Um, so if you get too cold, your mind will definitely get affected and you will have trouble to think clearly. Uh, I think most of you know the survival rules of three. You can only survive three hours without a shelter in an extreme environment. You can only survive or you can only live for three days without water and you can only live for three weeks without food. So the first thing you have to do 
is to get yourself a shelter and a fire of course if you don't well it's like we used to say in Sweden om huvudet är dumt får kroppen lida which means something like if the brain is stupid your body will suffer oh that's so silly but it's true of course this shelter also needed protective layers between me and the, and the ground because otherwise I will get cold very very fast and um, as you know hypothermia is very dangerous most people know the danger with high fever but do you really know the danger with hypothermia take a look at this One sign of hypothermia is that you have to go and pee all the time. And here comes an aeroplane. That's quite a good song actually. By Red Hot Chili Pepper. Well hello there, Norwegian Air. <sighs> we do have planes in Sweden are disturbing me. If your body temperature only drops one degree of Celsius, uh, the stress hormones and uh, blood accumulation in your body will make you want to go and pee. So if you already went and you feel like, oh, I'm going to pee, I have to pee again, then this could be a clear sign of hypothermia. So even if you think you are well prepared, like you have a fancy GPS and a large knife, things can go wrong anyway. And now there is another plane. Knowledge doesn't weigh anything and it doesn't occupy any space in your bag. So with just some basic understanding of your body, it will definitely increase your chances of survival. Well, I do know my body and I'm very, very hungry right now. So I'm going to make myself some pancakes, which you will see next time. Have a great day.